Ji Chanda. Assalamualaikum, Mr. Right. Prime Minister. Um, it's very heartening to hear you coming over here, the Premier of the country, and saying and encouraging us that Lam students, we seek knowledge, we seek originality. Um, it's very heartening. But then I hearken back to earlier times, a few months ago, right at the start of your tenureship, when you talked about the social contract, you talked about the Pakistan social contract with its citizens. It should be, it should only have a primary purpose. That is to ensure law and order. And I believe that goes against the very statement you gave right now about encouraging originality and seeking knowledge and giving an enabling environment. I believe in order to give an enabling environment to the youth of this nation, there has to be two things, freedom of expression and freedom from discrimination. I believe we here, Lum students, people of, of a very, very privileged class, both in terms of socio-economic class and religious caste as well. Freedom of expression we have cannot ever compare to, to, to the youth out in South Punjab, out, out, in, out in Karachi, those Afghan refugees. We can, they can never compare to us. So how do you feel that a social contract that is based on law and order primary, as a primary purpose, can ever ensure those two things to make sure that the rest of our youth actually get a chance to have an enabling environment? My, my experience in life is, is a bit different. We always think that we have got rights. I should have the freedom of expression. I should have the freedom of rights. I should have the freedom of abuse. I should have freedom uh, for arson, and so on and so forth. In that social contract, the state also has certain rights. Article 5 says that you have to have unconditional loyalty to the state. You cannot put a condition. Bolo, bolo, mera beta, bolo. Sir, I certainly understand that, for example, uh, your position over here, that if a state gives rights to its citizens, then there should be some responsibilities. And I'm sure we all agree we don't want the outcome which you just described in Iraq or Iran. Um, but I feel like all of us over here did not do not want the outcome that we're currently seeing in Pakistan. That is when the penalties that is when the penalties are not pro proportionate to the crime committed. Even if calling that a crime is just going against rules and regulations. Like for like instance, you're referring to ninth May. And the outcome. Be the open. Of it. Be open. Why? Why are you hesitant? Nobody is that stifling you here. Come on. Let me. And sir, this, the reason why I am not open and some of us may not be able to be open okay, is another... Is take another, the initiative. Is, let, is, let me be the open guy. Okay? Take it. Uh, look, uh, probably 9th May is uh, relatively not that big. Uh, first of all, it is unprecedented. Secondly, we don't have a comparison in our lives. So that's why we take it pretty much cool that it's okay, it was just an anger of one day, so so what if, if it has happened and if there has to be a proportionate application to handle uh, of, of law enforcement work. If you want to have the right of violent agitation, then you should accept the lawful consequence of that behavior, isn't it? You all are students of law over here. It is only function of the parliament to make laws. It is not the function of the superior judiciary to make laws. Why do they make laws? It could be a good law or a bad law, but it is the function of the parliament. In the race question, you receive applause. What is the point of having applause for a person? Why? Do you understand or do you realize? Why should I be expecting applause for, for an answer? The question should be raised in the true spirit of inquiry. It should not be for appreciation, but there is, we, I understand, all of us, we have constituencies. So that constituency translates that support into the applause. That's what we are doing. That's where my point comes, that we will go for plagiarism. We will not be able to create now. Criticize anything. You want to criticize military, you want to criticize judiciary, you want to criticize parliament, economy, politics. Just one single 
couplet of Iqbal again for guidance. Gila be ja bhi kare koi to lazim hai shahud. Be ja gila karo, doesn't matter. Lekin shahud ke saath.